Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So today we are carrying on with recycle and reuse. So today I have found this, which I made a little while ago. Um, it is where I've just a white piece of card and I sprayed it with some Distress Oxide ink. Um, and I've just sewed it and I um, stamped it. Now I did this a little while ago, so I thought I would use this up. Um, and it makes a great background for the tags and journaling cards. So that's what I've been using on these. You can't really see it, but it gives a really nice a really nice background. You can just about see the little bits on the back. And it goes really well with the colours that I'm using. So I think these are lovely. Um, and again, I'm using all the scrap bits of fabric um, and lace that I've got. I'm making the, using the little tags that we made before from the scrap papers. Um, like this so we've got some lovely lovely little pictures on here now I'm using the journaling cards um, I'll pop a link down below um, of what kit that I'm actually using but I'm absolutely loving these so I've had them cut out and I haven't really done anything with them um, so I'm going to making so I'm going to start making some things um, so we can build up our stash with all the bits that we already have around our craft rooms so I've cut a couple of pieces off here I've just cut them square pieces now let's have a look will that fit better on there so I've just cut a piece off pop that on there I'm quite liking it the, the um, butterfly ones have got little round edges on which I've rounded these sort of like journal card tags um, like that which I'm quite liking the rounded edge actually does that look very level? It doesn't look very, very level, does it to me? That's a bit better. There we go. I didn't cut it very straight, did I? Let's pop those in the, in the bin. Pop that on top so there's a very very simple one so you get your background so you can use um, old scrapbook papers or any papers that you've actually colored yourself just use anything that you have left over again you can use if you've colored any of the Amazon packaging you can use that on the background um, so I'm going to stick that on then I've got a few bits and pieces here so I'm just going to sort of randomly stick a few bits on. Let's have a look. I quite like this. This is funny old stuff um, that I tea stained. Just an old piece of fabric, but I think it looks really nice on here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick this down just sort of like in the middle. I'm going to sew around them anyway. So if you're not going to sew, make sure you glue it properly. But what I'm going to do, I tend to just sort of like glue in the middle just in case I want to stick something underneath and I can just lift that up then. So I'm going to stick that on. I just wrinkle some of that up I think and pop it underneath. Well not underneath, on top. Don't use too much glue if you're going to um, sew because it all gets stuck in your sewing machine. So just stick those on. What else can we have on there? Let's have little bits of lace. I can't really see that one. Let's pop a little bit of this on. Just all the way across, I think. Again, don't think too much. Get your bits of fabric and lace. Or you can always do this with bits of paper. Um, scrap papers as well. Um, and a little bit of lace. You don't need too much. Um, just your little odds and ends that you've got. So that looks pretty, doesn't it? And then what I'm going to do, let's have a little bit of velvet. I'm just going to do one of our little cheap bows, which is just really tying a little knot like that. Don't pull it tight, just so you've got like a little blobble in the middle, like that. And then cut that off as an angle and then you've got a lovely sort of like embellishment there sort of like a bow but it's not if you know what I mean oh that looks pretty doesn't it put 
something like that on as well to build that up that looks nice so what I'm going to do I'm going to stick that down I'm going to sew around here maybe I'll make another tag and we're sewing them both together so let's pop that to the side maybe I will pop something at the top for a sort of tag a tag top piece of this off. See if I can tear that. I just twist it, got these bits off, twist it like that and it sort of makes like a little tag top like that which looks nice. So let's pop that to the side and then I will make another one. So I've got another piece of card here, I think it goes around that way. Now I just need to pick one of these, little flower, I think these are going to be too big. See these pictures, they've got some lovely pictures in there, absolutely loving them. Now what I didn't do around the other one was ink around the edge, but never mind. I'm just going to quickly, just where it was cut, you can just see a white line, um, which I just like to sort of like cover up really. And what I might do with this one, let's have a look, let's just sort of, what I'm going to do, I'm going to ink the back on this corner here, just like that. And then I'm going to roll it up, just to get it just like that, just so that's not white. So when you pop it on like that. This corner just sort of lifts up a little bit, gives a little bit of dimension to it, like that. And then we can pop something underneath because what did I do with my tags? Oh, here they are. Under all my fabric, I'll show you on this one. I did it on this one here, where I just rolled it down. I didn't roll it as much as I'm going to do on this one. And I've just popped some little fabric in there and I think it looks quite pretty like that so I thought we could do that on here so let me just stick this bit down just so it stays in place just like that so what I'm going to do I'm going to stick a little bit of glue on here just like that and then just roll it up just like that and then we can pop things just in this little corner here need a bit of glue that's going to um, stick down quite well and quite quick let me just get my little pokey tool to hold that, push it down inside. There we go. Let's have a look. Let's have a little bit of this coming out there. Let's sort of double that up. A bit of glue. can we pop in there let's see what I've got in my box here what's on this piece let's cut another one of these I think so, these are really pretty on here so don't forget if you've got little bits um, of fabric cut the little flowers out if you've got flowers on there because you can probably get lots of little embellishments out of this one as well. Pop that up there. Oopsie daisy. Stick that down in the corner. And we could actually use one of our little steam, seam binding flowers on this, couldn't we? That we made. And pop that underneath there. That looks pretty. 
Right, let's stick this down. A little bit of glue on there. Pop that one on. I might wait and... Oh no, it should be. I was going to say until I finish sewing, but I don't think it will catch it, so I think we should be okay. Stick that down if you'll stay. But I think that looks really nice. Now that's not going to stick on, is it? I think the glue is soaking into the fabric. Let's hold that gently on there. But I think that looks really pretty, and I don't think you need a huge much much more that makes sense much more on there so what i'm going to do now i'm going to let's pop a little bit of glue on here to hold it down before i sew it just that one because i will sew all the way across there and then stick that piece on afterwards gosh stick down there we go. Right, I'm going to quickly go around and sew these. I'm just going to sew the inner piece on both of them like that. So I'll be two minutes. Okay, so I've sewn around those. I did go all the way through there as well. Um, just sewed right across. So let's just oops, cut these little pieces off at the back. Like that. And here. I just sewed around this bit, so I've just gone this way and around because that's glued down, so that should stay in place anyway. I need to sharpen my scissors, so I think they look really pretty. Now I'm going to back them. This is a piece of um, tea stain, coffee stain paper, so I'm just going to stick that on there just so we've got a backing to it and then I will sew around the outside so I'm going to use a little bit of this glue just around here just to hold it on a little bit This one as well. There we go. Pop that on. Okay. So I want to chop off all those little bits like that. Cut this down like so. Now, if you've got thick enough card, you don't have to back it if you don't want to. But the reason I'm backing it is because I didn't want to see the um, stitch marks, um, and then you can sort of like write on the back, uh, it makes it a lot neater just finishes it off nicely but again if you don't like if you don't mind seeing um, the stitching on the back then you don't have to back it but I just like to pop a little bit on the back just to neaten it up a little bit okay so that's those so I'm going to quickly go back and just sew around it so the backing paper stays on Okay, so that's all the sewing around the outside. The only thing I didn't do was I forgot to pop the little bit of fabric for the, the tab top, but never mind. I can always sew that on in a minute. So that neatens it up nicely, doesn't it? So they look really pretty. So let's stick that on there with a little bit of 3-in-1. Put that on here. Just like that. Stick that down. That looks pretty, doesn't it? So, and then 
I'll find something to pop in there as well in a minute. So let's see, shall we have one of the little tags? So these are the little tags that we made before, just with some of the recycled, um, not recycled paper, the um, leftover bits. And then we'll just have a little bit of that. Maybe I'll have it hanging off here actually. Yes, I think I will. We've got a couple of little bulb pins here. Take these out. Going to just hang it off the little flower, just like that. So that hangs down. I think that looks really pretty. So I need something to go in there, don't I? Do with a little bit of a look, this is filling up nicely, isn't it? All little bits and pieces that I found. So I think we'll have a little bit of bling in there. Let's pop that. Oopsie daisy. Pop that in there like that. That just a little crystal in there, which is pretty. Okay, so what shall we pop on this one? So I think I'm going to leave that one like that because I think that looks lovely. I'm not even going to pop anything on the top. Um, I think that looks pretty as it is. So let's have a look on this one. Now what I've also done on these, I've added a couple of light little words on here. And this one here has got a little tag with peace on it. Um, I can find my little wallet, whatever I've done with it. So much stuff everywhere. So, a little wallet which I've just print off sort of like some words and things um, just on the printer. Um, and I just pop them in here, all sorts of little sayings and stuff. And then they are just ready to tear off um, and pop on little tags or whatever you'd like to pop them onto just like that just tear around it and then that can just go down sideways like that now I shall ink around it just like this that's it and then what shall we have underneath it? Need to put something underneath. Maybe a little bit of this pinky cheesecloth. Wonkle it up a little bit. A little bit of glue. That can stick down. And then a little bit of glue onto here. Just like that. Perfect. I think that looks pretty. Little bowl pin on there. Like that. And what I need, I need something up here to hang it off. So what I might do, let's get a little bit of this. I think. Just going to fold that in half like that and I'm going to sew that on there and then I can attach that to it so a tiny bit of glue just to keep it in place just like that and then I'm going to quickly just sew along there Okay, there we go. So that looks nice on there actually. And then what I can do, just take this, pop it through there, and you've got like a little dingly dangly off there. And I think that looks really nice. So there we go, guys. So that's two that we've made. Quite simple. Loving these journal um, cards. Um, really nice. So we've used. The little tags that we've made from the recycled, I've used recycled paper, all the little bits of fabric. So we're gradually going through different um, things that we have in our craft room. 
to get rid of some bits and pieces and make up our nice pile of stash. So these will be all ready to go into a nice journal. I want to get some stuff ready so we can journal, make some journals next year because um, I need to make a few more. So there we go guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, quite simple, quite easy and if you just sort of like roll the corners of the pages up it just gives it a lovely look um, and a little dimension to your cards. So there we go guys, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're all safe, safe and well. Um, take care and I will see you soon. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.